A Daruma is a Japanese toy modeled after Bodhidharma, the founder of Zen Buddhism. The traditional version is a scowling, bearded figure dressed in the red and gold robe of a monk. It is completely balanced because he had reached enlightenment. Usually, a Daruma is made of paper mache and weighted at the bottom so that it always returns to an upright position. Because of this, Daruma symbolize success, determination, the ability to overcome adversity, and recovery from bad luck. Now the eyes are left blank for a reason. After receiving one, the owner fills in one eye when they set a goal, start a new venture, or make a wish, and then they paint the other when it has been fulfilled. Modern Daruma take on many forms and colors, so let's make our own Daruma today, shall we? In the bottom of this plastic egg, I've attached a large, heavy hex nut, as centered as possible. I used a low temperature glue gun to secure it. Don't use high temp glue or the plastic may melt. I allowed it time to set up. Now I stuff the top of the egg as tightly as possible with paper towels. You could use fabric or newspaper too. If my Daruma happens to be dropped, the hex nut might break free and it wouldn't stand up again. So the packing material helps keep it in place. Wrap a piece of masking tape over the seam of the egg to help keep it in place. Next, I'll prepare some mache. Blix mix is quick and easy to use. Just place a handful of mix in a container, add water, and mix it up together with your hands or with a spoon until it's completely wet. It will make a pliable clay-like mixture about the consistency of pizza dough. Flatten it out with your hands, then place it over the egg like this. Apply firm, even pressure until the egg is covered with a thin layer of mache like this. and then set it aside to dry. To avoid having a flat bottom, I set mine in a cup, and then I just rotate it frequently as it dries. Once it's dry, I'll smooth out any rough spots with a little bit of sandpaper. And now it's ready to paint with acrylics. Modern Daruma take on many forms and colors, not just the likeness of Bodhidharma. It can be the image of someone inspiring, a favorite animal, or even a self-portrait. The important thing is to make it a reminder to persevere, have courage, and never give up on goals and dreams, because that's what the Daruma is all about. Thanks for joining me for this lesson plan, and I hope you give it a try. The materials list in a downloadable PDF are available at dickblick.com. And we provide you with the National Standards for the Visual Arts just to help you with your planning.